Hey everybody! So I went to Michael's tonight again. <laughs> I went yesterday, but actually today I went with a purpose of returning some items that I purchased. Actually, I bought some of those recollection boxes, and um, knowing that the sale was still going on, of course, uh, I tried a different Michael's because they sometimes carry different things. So I want to mention to you all, this is the circular for this week's sale. And you'll notice that it says 40% off, and it's actually all of the Recollections um, embellishments. Um, that includes the washi tape, and the buttons, and brads, and all kinds of things, and bling. Okay, so I walk in there, I return my things, I say, okay, I'm going to go look around just to see if they have anything different. These items were not 40% off, they were 60% off, today only. So... I went in and tried to hold myself back because there are some things that I purposely didn't buy because I have too much of it, but then I thought, well, 60% off, that's much better than 40% off, so let me go ahead and get some. So this is what I got from the Recollections line. All of this is bling and some stickers. I'm just going to show you. And, of course, the wood veneers. I have been purposely not buying these because I thought, well, I have too many now. What am I going to do with more? Well, of course, here we are, 60% off today, and I get four packages. So I may have to share some with some folks. But anyway, so that's my recollections um, purchase for today. You can see the keys. There's buttons in there, and then there's some flowers. I didn't have any of these flowers, so I decided to get this style. And I believe these are lilies. And then some of the other things I got in my Michaels purchase um, are the new punches. This is the Martha Stewart Circle Punch, and you, it is interchangeable. If you look at this punch, you can see that this is a doily that comes in the box. But the pattern is actually an interchangeable punch, so you can take this punch out and put one of these in it. So, the Martha Stewart stuff was 20% off, and I'm going to try and show you the... Here's the pattern that it makes if you go all the way around the circle. And you start with any square piece of paper, and you will end up with a circle doily. And here's the other one that I purchased. So, it comes with one punch design, and um, you can purchase additional ones. They had different types. These were These are new. They just came out with the CHA show this year. So um really excited to see that because they didn't have that at the other Michaels I went to yesterday. That I wasn't looking closely enough. Um, and so those Martha Stewart punches were 20% off. Um, I believe this one is like $29.99 since it's the first. It's the kit that has the circle um, holder. Um, and you can see there's that circle there and then there's this piece too. So... There's that, and then I bought these two additional ones were regularly $19.99, I think, and they were 20% off. Not that great of a deal, but I was excited to see these, and um, they actually, this was the last one in the aisle. So, got that. I got this punch also. This is a new EK Success punch. I got a couple of other punches on Sunday. Didn't show those, but again, I, I got them from the new line. Um, this one was really cool, and that one was 40% off, and then this one is an older punch, and again, this was 40% off. Um, so I also purchased, let me see if I can show this, um, two Sizzix dies. You can see them here. They're, they're, they're border dies, and they are um, the wafer-thin type, so you can go through cardstock and vellum with this. You can't go through um, chipboard with this, I don't believe. So, um, this one was half, they were both half off. So, it was nice to see that. This was $10, and I think this one was like 6 or something like that, because this is actually a Valentine die, believe it or not. So, I guess that one's an older one. And then I only got two of these industrial chic items today. Um, these were, I believe these were 40% off as well, because I got a boatload of these yesterday. I didn't show them in a haul, but there's quite a lot that I, I did get. So, 
Uh, the ones that I got yesterday were $2 each. I didn't pay for anything that wasn't $2. These were a little bit more, so that's why I only got two, because they were not um, on clearance for $2. And so what it is, they're charms, and one of them is a little truck that you can hang, hang um, charms from, and uh, other charms from, from the tires. And then um, there's a bear on top of a ball, and there's a dice, a die, I guess you could call it. <laughs> And this is a bottle, the number seven, and then that's a key, the top of a key. I also got some strung beads. The beads, again, were 55% off. So these were probably like a dollar something because they're normally $3.99. And then I got these as well. I'm going to try these ones here on stick pins and try and put a bead in the middle. I think that'll look really neat. I haven't seen that done yet. And also in the mail today, I got a stamp that I ordered from Simon Says Stamp. I'll try and get the glare off. It's a banner die. Um, so you can see two dies here, um, two styles. Uh, and then the matching stamp is actually a holiday stamp. Um, but what you notice is the stamps are pattern. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. So I can stamp my... Um, pattern on it and also then stamp a coordinating a, a color on top of that with a sentiment. So I thought that was kind of fun. So that came in from Simon Says Stamp. That was on, um, I think it was on back order because I got my other shipment earlier. And then I got my last set of um, Gorgeous Girl stamps. These are the actually the ones that were originally made by um, Sugar Nelly. Same artist, but different person who was producing the stamps. So these came from the UK. This one is called Scent with Love. I'm going to try and get in the light here. And then here's the back. Here's the actual stamp. And these are not mounted on cling, so I actually do have to mount them. They're a little bit smaller than the newer stamps. Um, then there's this one. And she's called Little Star. She's holding a star. And here's the back. This one's a little bit larger than the last one. There's this one, which is called Foxy. So these are um, actually from the older line, the previous lines. Um, a little bit harder to find. This one's quite large. And then the, this one here is called Bear Hug. And this, these, I ordered these from Funky Kits, I believe. So they came in like two or three weeks. Oh, actually, maybe it's been longer. Maybe four weeks after I ordered them, um, which is um, interesting because I ordered, I placed three orders from the UK. This was my last order to come in, but all of the orders were shipped on the same day. And the other two orders came maybe two weeks after, or a week and a half after I ordered them. So this was the last one to come in. And then, oh, I didn't show you the name. This one's called Untamed. This one I have not seen on any other site. So it was a little, it was nice to see that. They had some other variety. I'm sure they had other stamps that I didn't purchase, and it's just because I didn't want those stamps. Um, but I don't think I'll be ordering any more Gorgeous Scroll stamps unless they come out with something new. Um because I have so many, and I'll give you a, a clue as to what I've got now. So here is my Clip It Up. It is now full of stamps. And when I started ordering the Gorgeous Girl stamps, there was nothing on that Clip It Up. It's now full of things, and they're just different stamps now. So there's there, there are a lot, all, all of these stamps are the ones that I'll be coloring with my Copics, um, because they're larger stamps, so you, you'll see more of the detail. Um, so that is my share for today. Oh, and I also want to show you one more thing. I got this string of beads. It actually was a necklace and I pulled it apart. This was something I got at the, um, the, uh, antique show and expo. Um, the beads I actually were, pur was purchasing because I wanted to take it apart. I knew I was going to do that. And this necklace was beautiful, but I'm just not, you know, into that kind of thing. So um, the beads are very unusual. Um, it was a neat 
neat package of, you know, not package, but neat string of beads, all kinds on here. Um, there's quite a few of them. And, you know, so I thought it would make a nice um, stick pin or something else, and it was a great price, too. So that is my um, haul for today and my share. Oh, actually, not my share. I didn't share um, some of the stuff I finished. I want to I wanna finish a project before I share it, um, so I won't be showing it today. But anyway, I hope everybody has a good evening, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.